All right, guys, here we are. Next episode in our eating adventures. We are at the Whataburger. D the W. Whataburger, also known as what I call just the W. It is, uh, Corpus Christi is the home of the Whataburger. Last episode, we went to Five Guys. Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Today, we're at what has been the king of burgers here in Corpus in terms of like fast food. And so, made some pretty big claims last episode. I meant, I said that the, the Five Guys Burgers was better than Whataburger, and even you agreed. But we're gonna put the we're gonna put it to the test again. So, I was in um, teaching SFG one in Dallas last weekend, and uh, on the way back, I stopped by a Whataburger and I got me a burger. And oh my gosh, it was good. It was so good. So you were like, hmm. I, 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 I was having some second thoughts. So anyway, we've got our order coming up here in just a minute. So. What's up? Good. What's what's new with you since the last time they um, saw you? Well, I've met up with some friends, some old friends at my old school. Some old friends with old school. Mm -hmm. What y'all do? We played tag. We played tag. Like chasing each other. Tag? Yeah. Yeah. Who won? Um. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Me and my um, friend Sadie. You and your friend Sadie? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, well, we're just going to hang out for a little bit. As soon as our order comes out, we'll keep you posted. Alright? Mm -hmm. So, we'll just leave it recording. Yeah. And when our order comes, we can go back. Right so, we'll edit it out. And we'll edit it out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to show you how to do the editing so you can do it. Yeah. You be my official video editor. Yeah. <clears throat> Go and open your milk. Have it ready. You want a straw? Um, or are you just gonna drink it straight out of here? Anything in particular you like to talk about when we jump on and we start eating? Hmm. You want to talk about Christmas? Christmas. Yeah, that's cool. We can talk about Christmas. Also, that um, we should. I want to complain that at the beginning it was scorching hot and then it went to like cold, then it went back to hot, and then it went back to cold. Now, then it was hot, but then the next day it would be like cold. And now here we are in the cold. It's here. So, I don't know if you can see. All the goodness. <clears throat> so, uh, that one's mine. Special. Bacon. Well, both of ours has bacon. Oh. So let's. Uh, I might have to. I think the special is. Oh, uh, you have yours has lettuce. No, it's not lettuce. It's pickles. I think that's yours. I think it is. Yeah, it is. And and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mommy, you need to fix it. They didn't bring us any ketchup. They didn't bring us any ketchup. Oh my god. Okay, Whataburger's already slipping. No ketchup. No, there's actually a lot of ketchup. No, no ketchup for your fries. <gasps> Whataburger, we have questions for you. No napkins. <gasps> Whataburger's letting us down. Hold uh -oh. on. Entertain the camera while I be right back. <laughs> okay. Okay, hello people. So, um, I'm just gonna show you the burger. The burger is, like, in the last video, in the last video, my dad said that um, it's very, the, the burgers in Five Guys, they're like small, but like, oh, thick. But here, ho, 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 oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that thing. Look at all that 
scrumptiousness is really, really good. Look at that meat. Look at the cheese. It looks so good. I want to take a bite, but I can't do it. Um, right now, comment on which one you would choose right now. Five Guys or Whataburger? Because you never know. Here's my dad. He's back. All right. Okay. Whataburger's dropping the ball. Oh, no. We got... Whataburger's got spicy ketchup, which... I... For people Una like I, I unofficially believe I had the first idea for spicy ketchup. I mean, yeah, I think, I think he so, invented it. Like so. years ago, before, like I think it was even before I even met your mom, mm -hmm. I would always put Tabasco sauce in my ketchup. This was years before spicy ketchup. Anyway. And then someone just sees you doing that. And then <clears throat> someone just sees you doing that and like, I think, we should take it okay. into a brand. So Whataburger is known for their huge burgers on a five inch bun. And I remember the founder, when he created Whataburger, he wanted to make a burger so big it required two hands, which it does. So what did you get? I got... You're gonna need to fix it. Like, you see this? I mean, oh, oh, that's a lot of bacon pickles. So like, you need to like... Bacon and pickles, boy. Make sure it all fits. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's all crazy. Yeah, another thing that does not go well. Okay. Because at Five Guys, it was perfect. Yeah, Five Guys was crazy. Nah, it's okay. The fries were okay. insane. There. But here we go. So, I got I got bacon, extra... I got okay, so bacon. This, <clears throat> this girl can eat. Oh. So, she, a little bit, so... I remember when she first started eating burgers, she didn't uh, she didn't like the hamburger. She just wanted french fries. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And then little by little, she eventually got a junior burger. And then the junior burger, uh, she started plowing through that. <laughs> and uh, like, so then like, we would, I would get her a junior burger, <clears throat> which is basically like a four inch bun. It's their small burger. My, a junior my burger, dad. hold on. Junior burger. Uh, and I would get her double meat and then she started plowing through that. She didn't like cheese on the burger. So she's little, she's made this progression to where <clears throat> she got the original, the regular water burger, which is the five inch bun, one patty. Then she started adding cheese to it. Because like, um, and now what do you have? Now she's got a double meat, double cheese with bacon. That's something a grown man would eat, and she's. We're gonna see how you. We're gonna see how well you put that away. And guess what? So the reason why I started <clears throat> liking cheeseburgers, I remember it like it was yesterday. So I ordered just like a plain one, mm -hmm. and then we got it, and it was cheese. And I'm like, I don't want to eat it. And yep. he's just like, No, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna, you're gonna it. like it. You're not gonna waste it. We're not gonna waste food here. So I ate it, and I was like, Bruh. Bruh. So, so at the end of our video, yeah. at, at the end of our video, we're going to rate Whataburger, mm -hmm. like whether it's a thumbs up, thumbs down, bruh or no bruh. Mm -hmm. So I got triple meat, triple cheese, triple meat, triple. Cheese. And the cheeses that I got, normally they put American cheese on here, but I got Monterey Jacks, so a little spice cheese. I added bacon, and I just get mine straight up, just mustard, ketchup, pickles. And so, today's been a big training day for me, so I had jiu-jitsu today. I did jiu-jitsu for an hour. Then I took a four mile walk after that to recover. After that, I hit the gym and I recorded our our episode of 30 days of deadlifting. So I had a deadlift session for about 30 minutes, 20-ish minutes, 30 minutes. Then I came home, did a little work, and then I did a, swing session had to, i'm on a beta test for a path to sinister so i basically worked out like three times and also he had to work jiu jitsu walk deadlift swings and so i did four workouts today so i got a triple meet and he also had to work his brain too because um the ps4 wasn't working because mm. me and my brother <clears throat> weren't turning it off correctly mm. and my dad thought it was broken but it was like it's half and half all so right. he had to use his brain to like fix it all right well let's say our blessings before we eat mm -hmm. okay in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen 
Bless this dear Lord and these thy gifts, which we're about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So, let's get that thumbnail. So, here it is. Big burger. There's that Monterey Jack cheese. Look at that. Monterey Jack. You can see the difference. Cheers. Cheers. Twink. Hopefully the spiciness didn't get on my cooking. Damn, can you even bite that? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Here's mine. Triple meat. That's his bite. And here is my bite. She's got a double meat. Yours looks bigger than mine. <laughs> That's because it is. <laughs> it does. So, first bite. Flip it over. Compared to five guys. Mm. First bite. It doesn't beat it. <laughs> I still think Five Guys is, has. Yeah. I think Five. It, it's it's super close. Uh -huh. it's, it's so su close. You know what? Well, hold on. They they how they make the burgers different. I don't know. Yeah. It's, what are like, each? I've noticed that each burger like has a unique taste. Like Five Guys has this like homemade uh -huh. taste. This definitely has is it's really good, but it's like you can tell that it's fast food. Like the Five Guys, I wouldn't have been able to know if it was fast food. And guess what? Um, for fries. And McDonald's has a specific taste, but it's like a fast food taste. And for the fries, you saw in Five Guys, they were long and huge and fat. Mm -hmm. Here are the Whataburger fries. Yeah. Small and skinny. Disappointment, Whataburger. You're thin. No, you just got the spicy ketchup. You gotta eat it. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, pull your big girl pants on. <laughs> yeah, I don't like spicy. Come on, little bite. Come on. <laughs> Show them how tough you are. Come on. No. Three, two, Wait, one. Wait, hold on. Let me get them. <laughs> Spicy ketchup. Three, two, one, go. How is it? Can I have some more? Do you like it? <laughs> it tastes like just regular ketchup. Every time <laughs> I make her taste something and try something, she falls in love with it. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Spicy ketchup. Mm -hmm. Spicy ketchup is good. All right. So, I still think if we give it like like a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. ten being the best, mm -hmm. being bruh, mm -hmm. five guys definitely ten. Mm -hmm. I would give this a nine I, and a half. Yeah, like nine, maybe nine and a half. Um, fries, not even not even close to Five Guys. Five Guys better. What? What a burger's got spicy ketchup. Wait a minute. What's the difference to me? You want to taste it? I don't them? taste the difference between you, this ketchup. So we got they got regular ketchup, fancy ketchup, mm -hmm. and then they got spicy ketchup. Mm -hmm. I don't now, taste the difference. Well, now they officially sell spicy ketchup and the Whataburger ketchup. They sell it at the grocery stores. So you can get it at H-E-B. To me, this is the black one spicy, the white one's just regular. I don't taste the difference. Let me see here. Here's the not spicy one. Okay. There's a difference the, for sure. And here's the spicy one. There's a difference. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, so me, better. just tasting it right now, this one's bland. I don't know why I like this. It's just bland. Like, this one, it has like a more sweet, but this one has like a more kick. Mm -hmm. to it. That one's definitely sweeter. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you're a spicy ketchup girl now. <laughs> and it, I don't, and that's saying something. I don't like spicy. She does not spicy like spicy stuff. stuff at all. If I taste like one talkie, if I taste, if I lick it, my mouth will go on fire. <laughs> like one little lick, like just like this, my mouth will go on fire. Eat your burger. Oh, I like the fries and the ketchup. <laughs> I'll say this. So, I'm driving back from SFG from Dallas last weekend. <clears throat> I pick up the exact same burger on the road. And I have to say, that burger was better than this one. 
Mm? So, I can say right now that the burger that I got on the way home was fresher than this one. I can tell that this, like, so here's what I, here's what I learned about Whataburger. It's my, my, just in a freezer. My brother, they have a freezer. Well, well, yeah, but my brother used to work here when he was a teenager. And I used to run a bread business. In my bread business, Whataburger was one of my clients. And I delivered their buns. <laughs> And so, what I, what I learned that Whataburger does is they make the patties, and then they have what's called a transfer unit. A transfer unit is like a, like, kind of like a, like a, like a steel plate. And they take the patties off the grill, and they put them on the transfer unit, and that transfer unit kind of keeps them warm. So that way when someone comes and orders, they already have something ready on the transfer unit, and then they put it there. So it's, it could be sitting on the transfer unit for five or 10 minutes. So I can tell, and so basically it's not as fresh. It's not from the grill to the burger. And I can tell the burger that I got heading home was from grill to burger, because it was super fresh, like hot. This is not, this I can tell has probably been sitting on the transfer, the transfer unit. I mean, yeah, if you, Still good if though. I'm ever, if you ever know something's like steaming hot in my mouth, this is what I'll do like in public. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm at home, I'll like open my my mouth open wide and like steam will come out of it. What about here? Uh, Wait a second. What? They made you a triple meat. That's a triple meat. You're supposed to have a double meat. And the window, I was like, yours, yours looks bigger than mine. Look, <laughs> look. <gasps> it's triple One, meat. One, two, three. Burger, burger. Yours, is a, to me. yours is a triple meat. I can. I knew yours would look bigger than mine. Does it say chicken? Oh, look! It says double meat. Double meat and double meat. Wait, it both says double meat. They both say double meat. They both say double meat up here. Look. Here's the receipt. I didn't say that. Right. It says double meat water burger and double meat water burger. They both have large pieces, cheeses, they both have three bacon, three sub ketchup, three pickles, extra pickles, mid fries, mid drink, triple meat water burger, Montreal Jack cheese, more Montreal Jack cheese, more Montreal Jack cheese, three bacon slices, add ketchup, pickles, only extra pickles, and a milk, my milk. Anyway, you got a triple meat there, girl. <laughs> Damn it, son. <laughs> Tell me about your week. What are you reading? She's reading a book. What are you reading? Oh, she got a mouthful. Mm -hmm. So, while she's eating, I mentioned I worked out four, four times today. <clears throat> So if you haven't checked out on the channel, I'll link it here in the top corner. I started a um, little experiment uh, called 30 Days of Deadlifting. We're basically going to be deadlifting every day for 30 days and see what happens. Um, it's been it's been over six months since I've done anything intentional with the deadlift. Um, I was pretty much on a training cycle almost seven straight years, um, from 2013 to 25 to 20, 2013, 2018. Really didn't miss. I deadlifted like nonstop, so five straight years there. Took a few months off, picked back up in 2019, took some time off, but almost seven years total. Anywho, that was really tough. And I'm starting to really like, because my goal, long-term goal is to get to 320 kilos, which is 704 deadlift. And I was only 30 kilos away before I had, <clears throat> before I had my surgery. So, jiu-jitsu, deadlifting, long walk, and 320 kettlebell swings. Okay, let me grab the book. That's why I'm eating a triple meat today. I got the book. What are you reading? So, it's a girl book, okay? Um, it's a book called Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Happy Birthday. Um, so it's about these three best friends. This is Nikki, that, let me see that. That's Chloe, that's 
Zoe, and they're all friends, and they're looking for a birthday party for Nikki. And on the back, it always has like a bonus clip, right, which is we'll pretty look. funny. They can see so, us. Yeah. So Dork Diaries. Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, it mainly talks about this girl named Nikki. She mostly just talks about her life and stuff like that. So she's like in middle school. She talks about how her sister annoys her. She talks about how um, sometimes her her sister embarrasses her in front of her friends. Um, she talks about her friends, drama, everything. Like in the back, they have a lot more books. So yeah. Cool. This is a regular ketchup. <clears throat> Definitely sweeter. It's like they it's like they have like the same exact ketchup, but they added like sugar to the original to like the not spicy one. <laughs> What did y'all do the other day? Yesterday, you went with your mom? My mom wanted to go get a haircut, and her mom, and no. And she's friends with, with my friend's mom. No, yes, if, if that makes sense. So, we were playing in the, in the, they have like a porch, and like a trampoline there too, at the end, at the, so we were playing there, and then some neighborhood girls came along. They were twins, and one was named, and I'm not going to say their names, okay? So. Let's call her Julie. Yeah, they're two twins. Okay, Julie and. Mooley. Mooley. <laughs> <laughs> we had the same attention. Okay, so. And Julie and Mooley, that's not their real names, not even close. Okay, so um, so Julie and Mooley, they came to play with us, and so we just kept on playing. And Christian, um, Sadie's brother, that's my friend's name. Okay, but like that's it, and that's the only name I'm gonna say. So we were all playing, and then Christian, Sadie's brother, says. Sadie's younger brother said, "Hey, let's play Battlefield." And, I'm, and someone said, "What's?" And Wooly said, "What's that name?" And um, they're like, "And let me give you a picture of Julie and Wooly. They both have brown hair and brown eyes. One wore a hot pink jacket, and one wore a, wore a light pink jacket." Mm and they both wear wore blue sandals light blue sandals light blue sandals mm -hmm. so we were all playing um battlefield and how you play it it's a game we made up so um, so what you do is that you have to tag someone and then you have to stand somewhere and then grab a stick grab two sticks and do this with the sticks and that's technically like your shield and the last person and the person who um gets tagged next is like the person who has to tag someone else okay. so it's like tag with with shields mm. like Basically. the next level next level of tag mm -hmm. next level let's talk about christmas i know you mentioned you want to talk about christmas mm -hmm. so you know Corpus Christi? I don't know what it's like up north where it's cold. Was it a bit cold when you were in Dallas? It was cooler, but it wasn't really cold. It was kind of like what it was is right now. So uh, in Corpus Christi, we don't have, we've got two seasons down here. So it's either scorching hotness, it's either scorching hot or rain. Oh, not that much rain. So, so really? <laughs> You know, up north in lots of places of the country, you have, I think even parts of Texas, you got the four seasons. Well, down here in South Texas, we've got two seasons. We've got hot and then not that hot season. And so, like, 
right now it's still pretty warm down here. Um, we're like mid December right now. And like when it was with the freeze, I was like, whoa, yeah, this is what it's like to be cold. Yeah. Like so we've like never our, seen snow except for 2018. Yep, 17, I think it was. 17. Um, our winter here is basically like California weather. Like it's maybe 50 in the morning, and then by the afternoon it's like 70, 75, which is nice. Right, it's a nice uh, break from triple digits, but what is it that you, let's talk about Christmas as we finish up. So, I, I'm done with that, sir. So, I don't really, I like the cold. We both like the cold. Mm -hmm. I like the cold because it's cold. You get to drink hot chocolate and play with the snow. But he likes it because you get to stay indoors and wear your hoodies. Yep. And drink coffee yep. and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's why he likes it. I just like, I don't want to play in the snow. If there was one thing that you would choose, would you like to choose a world that is scorching hot? Or would you like to choose, is scorching hot? You have to wear um, just t-shirts and shorts all day, every day. Or you can go to... Or you can go to a freezing, to like a freezing cold place where you can get to wear hoodies, where you get to wear hoodies and it's, and there's like a, a nice, and a, a nice warm place to be. Which one would you choose? Cold. Cold. Me too. You know who we haven't seen yet? Alfonso. Alfonso. Who, tell them who Alfonso is. Alfonso is an elf on the shelf. So the story is... He's elf on the shelf. His name's Alfonso. Mm -hmm. You can name your elf. So like there's an... If you have an elf on the shelf, you know what I'm talking about. Fast forward if you want. But, um... So what an elf on the shelf is... Um, Santa has like little elves, you know, the toy makers. Well, some of them are also spies. I'm just kidding. They watch you to see if you're bad or good. And then when you're asleep, they fly to the North Pole and report to Santa. I really wanted an elf on the shelf. And then one day when I woke up, I found an elf in the living room with a note saying, Dear Anaya, in fancy handwriting, I knew it was Santa. So it was like, Dear Anaya, I heard your wish. Here's your wish. Please take care of him. So, and he brought the Elf on the Shelf book. And, um, and so we read it, and you cannot touch them. If you, like, touch them, the, their magic of going to Santa will go away, and, like, you can't, they can't see you anymore. We named ours Alfonso. I think that's what happened. I think it's during Secret we touched it. Well, maybe you think why he hasn't come yet? I think so. Hmm. Interesting. And we haven't seen him yet. Uh-huh. He hasn't come around yet. Maybe he'll come, maybe he'll come soon. Yeah. Oh! I think he traveled to San Antonio. Because remember? Maybe he's waiting for us at Mimos? Yeah, he's like, I won't get screamed at here. Mommy told me that some kid told you Santa wasn't real. Yeah. Yeah? Someone in my class said, you know, I don't think Santa's real. You want to know why? He was alive way long ago. Mm -hmm. He should be dead already. And when you go, when you get presents, it's only from your family members. Mm -hmm. It's only from your family members. Maybe it's just your family, or maybe you're just being naughty and Santa's not giving you presents. What do you think? I think, like, the person who said that was a really mean kid. Mm -hmm. So I think that's just his opinion. You think he was just upset? Yeah. Like, you think maybe he didn't get something that he wanted, so he just starts maybe. to think that Santa's not real? <laughs> He's like, Santa's not real. He didn't get me my, my PS5. I think Santa is real as long as you believe in Santa. What do you I think? know. My mom, mama, she said... When the spirit, you don't, the, the, when yeah, you, there's a thing called the spirit of Christmas. Have you heard the spirit Nicholas. of Christmas? Yeah, but it's like the spirit of Christmas, right? My it's, mom it's, said, a, it's a time for family and hope and joy and all that kind of stuff, right? So that's kind of like the spirit, right? Getting into the Christmas spirit of things. Mama said when you stop believing in the 
spirit of Christmas. And Santa, that's when your presents from Santa start going down. Because you know Mommy and Daddy get you gifts, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, Mommy and Daddy definitely get you gifts for Christmas. That's not a that's not a shock. That's not a surprise. But then there's certain gifts that come from Santa. What are what are types of gifts that come from Santa? Yeah. No, we're good. I'm okay. Thank you. Madal. Madonna, that was a big one. I was really happy. I wasn't getting that dog. Yeah, so she had we to were ask really for Santa. Dog, 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 dog. The second, the, remember when Cody died? Mm -hmm. A few, a few minutes or days later, I'm like, can we have another dog? And they're like, no. And that was when I was like four or something, yeah. maybe five. So, and I'm ten now, and I just got him. So I was waiting for maybe six years. Mm -hmm. Six years for a dog, and I finally get one. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and wrap this video up because you got a huge burger there, and I doubt you're gonna finish that at this moment. Because we've already been going for almost 30 minutes, and people mm -hmm. are probably getting bored already. Yeah. So, what a burger. Hmm. Thumbs up, bruh, or thumbs down? What do you say? In three, two, one, bruh. Half and half. Half and half? Whoa! <laughs> I still think it's awesome. It's, it's good, but like, there was no napkins, yeah. there was no ketchup. Yeah, the customer service, I think, can be a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. And also, you could get the burger right but hey, next time. Maybe they made it up for it to you, and you got an extra patty. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Whataburger, if you're ever in Texas, uh, I think they've expanded a few places outside of Texas, but if you find yourself in Texas, definitely stop by, check it out, grab your Whataburger. You will need two hands to eat it. Definitely really good, but I definitely think as of right now, Five Guys has it by about a point. So that's all we got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next eating adventure. Peace. Bye.